and Jamie. I am creating a video series that is an overview of all of the different bags that I currently build. A lot of the bags that I'm going to show in these videos have uh, options that have been selected by uh, the customer. And in this case, there are several options that this customer has chosen. They've requested a main flap buckle. They've requested an under flap uh, extra storage pocket for leaders and terminal tackle. And they've requested uh, an extra tube set for the front pouch. Uh, with that out of the way, this bag is called my back bay bag with front pouch. And it is one of the more popular bags that I build. Uh, I find that it usually is headed off to uh, New Jersey, New York, uh, or California, but pretty much anywhere where the fishermen know what the bait is, what the fish are keying in on, what they need to carry. Uh, it's, I would say it's more of a minimalistic bag where you're not carrying the kitchen sink with you. The dimensions on this bag, approximately six and three quarter inches wide by about eight inches tall and front to back around seven inches. Let's open this up and look at the tubes inside. So there's two compartments, and that's why I call it back bay with front pouch. There's the main compartment, and then there's the front pouch. So in the main compartment, it comes with a standard seven tube set. The tubes that are in the back are th two inches in diameter by six and a half inches long. And the tubes that are in front of them, those four tubes there, are one and a half inches diameter by six and a half inches long. The one and a half inch diameter tubes uh, will accommodate a super strike darter with the standard factory hooks. Uh, if you oversize the hook, I doubt it'll fit, it might, but with the standard factory hooks so far, I've had uh, no issues. You can see that my tubes do not extend to the top of the bag. It's approximately one inch of headroom above the tubes. And that's so that when you hang a lure by the front set of treble hooks, there is space for the nose of the lure uh, so that it doesn't uh, tent up the top of the bag. So the front pouch here, it has four bucktail slots and there's uh, spaces behind the bucktail slots to hang tins. As I said, this, op this customer uh, requested an optional uh, tube set for the front pouch. You can see the front pouch is a little bit shorter than the main bag. So these tubes are five and a half uh, inches in length by one and a half inches in diameter. They're perfect for like SP minnows and similar profile lures to that. So all of my bags come with an adjustable and removable shoulder strap. So let's get the shoulder strap out of the way here. So in addition to the shoulder strap, you also have the option of using this as a belt bag and I put belt loops on the back of my bags. Back Bay series of bags have the belt loops positioned at the top of the bag, and that is so the bag hangs more naturally. The center of gravity on these shorter bags tends to be towards the center of the bag, so that uh, early on I built these with uh, belt loops in the middle, and they had a tendency to want to uh, tip away from the body when they're on your belt. They now hang much more naturally with the uh, belt loops at the top of the bag. In addition to the belt loops, there are stainless steel D-rings on the back of the bag. And that is so that if you're using the bag as a shoulder bag, when you cast, uh, many of you may know that your bag has a tendency to want to swing around your body uh, on a cast. So by putting a clip on your belt, you can clip a D-ring to uh, the belt and minimize the bag rotating around your body when you cast. Also standard on my back bay bags is a main flap leader pocket. A perfect storage space for pre-tied leaders and terminal tackle and there are also stainless steel drainage grommets. The bottom of the back bay bag with front pouch there are a total of 14 stainless steel drainage grommets and they get rid of the water quickly out of here. Uh, the tubes obviously the caps and the tubes are also drilled out for drainage 
And then on the sides of all my shoulder bags, I have my buddy lock attachment system for accessories, which is part of my patent on my bags. I've got a, a buddy lock uh, pliers sheath, which is designed for the Van Stahl seven inch pliers. You just lock the top part on there, lock on the little retention strap at the bottom, clip that into place. That retention strap keeps the accessory from being able to uh, twist off inadvertently. Then maybe you need more space, more lures to carry. So I also built another accessory called an Attitude. Take that, lock it on the other side, clip in the retention strap, and now you've got your pliers and extra lures on your bag. So if you're looking for a compact bag, you don't need to carry the kitchen sink, you know what, what bait the fish are keying in on, uh, the Back Bay bag with front pouch might just be the bag for you. Uh, below the video here, I will put a link to my quote and order form where you can see all the different options, such as you know, different stitching color, different trim color, uh, accessories, the buddy lock accessories, stuff like that, leader pocket underneath the flap. Just I, I have a bunch of different options and accessories that I build. So thank you very much for watching and I look forward to building a bag for you.